For me, my barometer for what has been real and what has been fantasy has always been the ballroom community. It's their story that we're telling. And the ballroom scenes really are the moments that are the most elevated and the most fantastical. And they've never come back and said, like, that doesn't feel real. I think it feels like fantasy because it's hard to wrap our brains around this particular community, this group of people having the successes that they have. But the truth is that every narrative that we've told on our show has always been rooted in some truth you know so the story of electra and that trunk is very clearly uh referential to dorian corey's story you know who is a trans woman who was a performer who was part of the ballroom community and who after she died a dead body was found wrapped up in leather and mummified in a trunk in her closet um in the same way that um you know there were trans women um, who in the early 90s, you know, after uh, Giuliani started cleaning up the city and once all the bathhouses were closed and, and, uh, you know, sex dungeons were closed, opened up Star 69 and made a ton of money, um, you know, and found legal ways uh, to make cash. And so, you know, those, those narratives are all real. You know, they really happen to real people was always important for us to be an aspirational show. And so there certainly are moments, I think, in the show where the win may seem not quite realistic to some people. Um, and I suppose, you know, depending on what that, that element is, maybe we we're taking creative license. But I think at the end of the day, we've seen so many stories around black and brown people around queer and trans people where the narrative is so deeply rooted in our trauma and i know for me i was just exhausted by that and and not particularly interested in telling that story so that felt to me really critically important you know for us to not replicate let's not duplicate those narratives that we've seen time and time and time again. You know, it's the reason why on our show, you don't see our characters really struggling with their identity ever. You know, it's like, they're all pretty self-actualized. And part of that is like, we've seen that narrative a million times. Like, when do we get to move on to the next stage of our lives? Um, You know, and so similarly, I think it was, there was a comfort for us in in the writer's room to sometimes lean into moments that maybe could feel fantastical or um, could maybe feel like not fully grounded or real specifically because it's like, well, we deserve to see those stories on television also. 